Hello, and welcome to this Confluence Q&A. All of these questions came from a live training I did a week or two ago. Link to it is up here. Uh, it's about an hour long and covers all the basics you need to know on how to use Confluence as a user. Here, we're going to answer every single question that came up, even if it was answered in that training, so folks know what the answers are. Check out the chapters down below. Each chapter is a different question. All right, let's get started. The first question I have is, why can I not see a page when I know that that page exists? This relates to Confluence permissions and restrictions and is one of the most confusing parts of Confluence. So we're gonna pop into Confluence and I'm gonna explain what this looks like and then why it happens to help make it a little bit less confusing. Here we have an error similar to one you'll see if you know that page exists, but you can't access it. Now, Confluence shows this error when either the page doesn't exist, it maybe did exist and was deleted, you put in the wrong URL, or you don't have access to that page. So in this example, this page might legitimately exist and other people can see it, but it's been restricted in some way. The first way it could be restricted is just on the level of the content itself. So if I go to a piece of content, Confluence allows us to restrict access. We can say only certain people can view or edit a page. And I'm gonna open up a page and show you where that lives. This little lock icon on the top and these are the restrictions. We have view only, which is common for things like policies or that information. And then only certain people can view or edit for more restrictive stuff. So if someone has locked down a page with only certain people can view or edit, you won't be able to see it unless you're on the list. If you think that's happening, you'll need to talk to a space administrator or the owner of the page to give you access. The other thing that could be happening is you are not on the view list for the space. So what I'm doing is opening up the permissions for this space to show you what the permissions are. But if I don't have access to the space, I'm not listed under this view column, either as an individual or as part of a group with view access, I won't be able to view anything in the space. And the fix for this would be to go to my space administrator, which I can find if I have access to the space. But if I don't, I'll have to ask around and go to maybe our IT department to ask them to let me in. So that is why you might be trying to open a page that you know exists that someone else can see that you can't. It's been restricted or the access has changed. The next question I had was from an individual who's moving from data center to cloud. Now data center is managed by the organization that owns it. So they can go in and manage the servers and whatever specifications they have. Cloud, however, is managed by Atlassian. And this group was concerned about the security levels provided by Atlassian. Now the good news is for Confluence Cloud, Atlassian publishes what they do. So we're gonna take a look and see what the security available is. Here's the website that details the security available to Confluence, atlassian.com forward slash software forward slash confluence forward slash security. For example, they have things like SLA up for uptimes, encryption in transit and at rest, all of their compliance information. So this is the best place to go to see what Confluence does to secure our data when it's on an Atlassian server. There's a lot more information in here if you dig into it. So I'll encourage you if you're curious to open this up and just see what Atlassian does to ensure your data is secure. I'll drop this link down in the description as well. The next question we had is how do you search for spaces? This can be a bit confusing because it's not immediately obvious, but let's jump into Confluence and I'll show you how you can search for spaces. Now, depending on your Confluence instance, there might be a lot of different spaces. If you click on the spaces menu, which is almost always available at the top, and then go to view all spaces, you're gonna see a list of every space that you have view access to. So remember, if you don't have access to the space, it doesn't show up in this list. What you can do from here is filter that list just by the name of the space. So here I can see there are two about Heen. I also have some other options though. I can do things like star a space, and that will add it to the top of my spaces menu to make it easier to find. I can also search through it by category. For example, only ones that are tagged as a knowledge base. This helps me more quickly find information that's in there and makes it easier for folks to just find what they need. There's also some filters in here to help you find things more quickly, like communal spaces or spaces available to groups, personal ones just for individuals, as well as archived and trashed spaces if you have that access. So again, to search for spaces, just go up to spaces and view all spaces to be able to search. A similar question, how do we search for content? One of the biggest challenges with Confluence is finding stuff. So it's really important we know how to search. In Confluence, there is a search bar in the top right. And if you click on it, it will expand. 
Now from here, I could just type in a search. For example, looking for information on Jira, and it will show me what it can find. Now this might not be the best match. Maybe I think it's confusing or isn't what I need, but there is now Atlassian intelligence available to premium and enterprise customers. So I could click on this, and it will then search through Confluence for me and find stuff, and then also give me links to additional information if I need it. So using Atlassian Intelligence is a great shortcut for a lot of folks who don't want to have to dig around. Now, if I want to get deeper in my search, there is an advanced search way down here at the bottom. So I'll open this up. And here I have the same keyword search, but I also have different filters. I might restrict it to a single space, or maybe I know a certain person made it, or maybe it was created in a certain time frame, or a specific kind of content, or maybe it's under a parent or has a label. And I can even dig through archived content, things that have been placed in the archive that we might not need access to. So that search bar is almost always available. It's got that Atlassian intelligence, as well as the advanced search in case you need it. So those are all the questions that came up in the June 13th live Confluence Basics training. I'll have another Confluence coming up soon on templates. I'll encourage you to check it out, as well as a whole playlist of other training on Confluence. So if you like this, please like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and drop your questions or comments about Confluence down below. Thanks for attending, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in one of these again soon.